Okay, let's say we're trying to find the intersection of x squared plus y squared equals 4 and x squared plus y equals 4. Since both of these equal 4, and we're assuming they intersect at some point, let's just set them equal to each other, right? Because they, x squared plus y squared is 4, and 4 is equal to x squared plus y. Therefore, x squared plus y squared equals x squared plus y. These things are equal. Subtracting x squared from both sides, we get this interesting fact that y is going to be equal to y squared. Well, how do we deal with that? Well, there are two cases where y equals y squared. If y is equal to 0, right, and y squared is equal to 0, right, then y squared is equal to 0, excuse me, and this works. Also, the other case is what? Well, what about 1, right? If y equals 1, then y squared also equals 1. So we have to consider these points and figure out what's happening by plugging them back into the formulas to see where these things meet. So let's assume if y, right, we can go through this point by point, if y is equal to 0, right, what is x going to be equal to? Well, let's use, I guess we can use either formula. I'll use the second one, x squared plus y equals 4. So x squared now plus 0 equals 4. So x squared equals 4, and x equals right the square root of 4, which could equal plus or minus 2. So what does this mean? Well, when y is 0, x is equal to, to positive or negative 2. And we should check these out. Do both work? Well, let's, let's see. If x equals positive 2, right, does this work? Sure, we have x squared plus y, so 4 plus 0 equals 4. That works. What about negative 2? If x equals negative 2, we have negative 2 squared plus 0, and that also equals 4. So these check out. Everything's working, and we have our intersection point. We have, so far, 0, right? Oops. The y value is 0, the x is 2 and 0, or negative 2 and 0. And we'll look at the graph in a moment to see why this makes sense. That, that checks out for y equals 0. What about y equals 1? Okay, well, same thing. Let's plug it in. If y equals 1, then what happens? Well, x squared plus 1 is equal to 4. And x squared, right, is going to be equal to... 3. We we'll subtract 1 from both sides, and x equals the square root of 3. So now x could equal right, the positive or negative square root of 3. And we want to plug these in to see how that works out. Okay, so plugging it in, we get the square root of 3 squared plus 1. Does that equal 4? Sure, because the square root of 3 squared is just 3, plus 1 is 4. So 3 plus 1, that equals Four, it checks out. The negative square root of 3 squared, right, plus 1 also equals 4, right, because negative square root of 3 squared is 3, plus 1 is 4. It also checks out. So just to recap, we have these two points of intersection here, that's 2, 0, and negative 2, 0, and over here, when y was equal to 1, right, so there are two points where y equals 1, and the x values, we have the square root of 3 and the negative square root of 3. And all four points here are intersection points or solutions. And this makes sense if we, we set this up on a graph. So let's just take a look at this. Because I think in order to really understand what's happening, we should graph this. Now this is a program called Grapher. And I'm just going to enter in our, our equations to see what this looks like. We have x squared plus y squared. Right, that's a circle equals 4 with the radius of 2. Right, and there's our circle. And then we have a parabola. So here we have x squared, right, x squared plus y equals 4. So there you can see how the parabola and the circle interact. Here as we zoom in, you can see the four intersection points, and those are right, those are the ones that we just found. Alright, hope this helped. Thanks.